You're leaving me today. I am. You're all decked out in football stuff early. Yeah. I mean, it's like a day. It's Friday. <laughs> it's football day. <laughs> well, what's Sunday? Another football day. <laughs> Good morning, sweet girl. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Gosh, Abby. She's like, let's go, people. Let's go. Hey, at least she's in a hurry. Yeah. Good job. Oh, people always ask what your shirts say. I'm gonna show them your shirt. Oh. Cute. Still had that made for her. Not online or anything. It was like a local, uh, local lady. lady. Yeah, the lady that makes my apron. Oh yeah. Our pool is so noisy. Yeah. There's like a um, there's a hole in the top on the pool deck, and there's there's a jet that goes right underneath it, so it like pulls air through there. Kind of weird. It's gonna be me, you, and your brother this weekend. Stop with the Apple Jacks. No, no, floor, floor Apple Jacks are not a thing. Love you. High five. Bye. Bye, babe. Priscilla brought me coffee, which is a perfect chaser for my coffee <laughs> that I just finished. Well, you didn't reply. I'm I was sorry. like, I'm gonna feel bad if I get a coffee and then I walk in and he, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, I just got a question from somebody that we work with on a professional level uh -huh. in our lives, okay? Okay. Um, it says, is there a book you'd recommend for better understanding of autism generally? Hmm. So I don't read very much? So I already know the answer to that, but I just want to, like, the, the how much that impacts me, like, that makes me want to cry. Like, Who is it? I'll, I'll tell you. But it's it's just somebody we work with. It's not like a secret or anything like that. But uh, but they didn't ask you know the world. They asked us. So that's that's amazing to me. That just it warms just my heart. Person, yeah. It's an interesting question though because like understanding autism, right? Because like there's like clinical stuff. You can Google all you want to on autism, and you're not gonna learn crap about autism. I feel like there there's a a unique perspective on things um, to better understand autism like from a human level not the clinical side not the doctor side not the therapy side but from like a human side so the book I would recommend is uh, uniquely human I listened to the audiobook on that and it's really really good so something that ties into this which we didn't even talk about it but I and I forgot about it because everything was hectic but did you see how our the owner of the roofing company responded to Abigail the other day when he was here? No. You didn't catch it? Like, he just, the way he talked to her was just so sweet. And yeah. he was very, yeah, like, in tune, but kind of questioning, like, oh, she doesn't talk. She uses sign language. and Right. You know, and, just, like, waiting for her, like, in her time to say hi. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. I don't know. Yeah. I thought, I was like, huh. You know, because he's just like, he's the owner of a roofing company. He doesn't. Right. You know? But he was like very, just, it, I don't know. I mean, it touched me. So if you have that question yourself, Uniquely Human is a great, I, I would recommend anybody read it. It's just a great look into the things that you don't see on the surface, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the clinical side of things, right? Like we're always... That's what you see everywhere else is the clinical side of things. Yeah. And then uh, Carly's voice. Yeah, that's another good one. Um, so that's that's a good one as well. That's more like an in, inside view of, of things. Oh, and I, I'll put links down below for those books um, if you're interested in picking them up. Priscilla wanted to run a few errands and she's getting her hair done uh, because she's going to her thing tonight or this, this weekend, you know, talking on stage and whatnot. Um, I need to meet her though. We're a single car family. Well, Isaiah has his own car, but we don't own another car. So there's only one thing to do. You know what that is. Don't worry, you're coming with me.
You know what? What? You cannot help but smile when you're on a scooter. Right? Yep, the whole time. You're just smiling. People looking at you like crazy. Banana. Doesn't matter. Thank God. We're not in a vehicle yet. I was gonna ride with you back, but I'll just ride. Just ride okay. It's a nice ride. Okay. It's like three miles. It was far. Yeah. Yeah. Ride safe. I will. Now I just had to figure out traffic, you know? Like the best way to go Yeah. without traffic, like maybe somewhere with a bike lane or something like that. Yeah. That would be super handy. Yeah. But man, that's a really nice way to get around. I'm excited. Um, do you want a water or grab another water? Yes, please. Yeah, like it's so much better than being in a car. Like on, on Park Street over there, Yeah. like there was a massive traffic jam. Nobody was moving. And the roundabout thing, I just went right by him. Sure everybody hated me. Making fun of me, like, yeah, you're making fun of me. My, look at look at big boy on a scooter. I know what y'all were thinking. <laughs> big boy on a scooter got to his final destination faster than you did. She's the busiest girl I know. Back at Sam's again. Gotta get the rest of the stuff for the concessions tonight. Stuff they didn't have last time. Oh, Isaiah might be. Uh, this is this is homecoming. Fingers crossed. I think I'm. God, I hope he wins, King. Come on. Jerk face. Oh. Mm. oh. This is why. That's the you worst. Teach your freaking kids. <laughs> oh. That's the worst. Who does that? What kind, what kind of human? <laughs> yeah, I'm sticking to the concrete. They probably didn't return their card either. <gasps> Who does that? Non cart returning gum chewing people that throw their gum on the floor. Oh my gosh. It's, my foot is like. It's like. I'm in concrete. <laughs> you gonna bail them out, Silla? Can we get some bail money, please? Ring a ling a ling. I got a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. That's all I got. Oh, man. I can't do that. <laughs> Sir, how you this, doing? This is all I have. I'm in jail. I need out. I need $100 <laughs> in order to get out. Ma'am, guys are walking too fast. I just need a dollar. Alzheimer's Foundation. Not like that. That's a good way to raise money. Alzheimer's Foundation. My grandmother and grandfather both had Alzheimer's. I said my grandmother. Yep. Near and dear to our heart. Yep. And there's some there's some ties with uh, with the way the brain works and then autism as well. So interesting stuff. She watches the channel. <laughs> she came up to say hi to us and just post that like we were her favorite couple and she just loved us to death and yeah. we have so many positive things to say. She's like, you made my day. I'm like, you made our day. <laughs> Still got a little emotional. It's been a little bit of a rough week or so. Yeah. So it was nice just to see someone face to face and for them to say thank you. Y'all ready for a football game? So Isaiah's number 58. So you gotta look out for him. Watch for number 58. I mean, I'll be pointing the camera at him, obviously. He plays center. So yeah, he's the one that hikes the ball. Every single play. Every play. <laughs> First and goal. Go! Go! Oh, I said it! Are you pretty nervous and excited? Yeah, it's halftime. Oh <laughs> yeah. But we're losing. Yeah, we are. Losing the game. We, we, we kind of expected. We kind of expected to uh, to get beat by this team. We did. But they're they're playing really well. Yeah, so, we are. Yeah. But let's face it. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the king. Is that exciting? I should go down and escort. You should. <laughs> yeah. Are you so proud right now? I am. <laughs>
I'm just thinking of laughing. I'm taking the camera. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Silla, Silla, out here, come on. Come on. Oh, we're just gonna walk on the field because that's what we do. Let's get a picture. Let me get a quick picture. Thank you. Hey, you gotta take this stop, mom. Mom, mom. Yeah, I'll take it. I have a session. Oh, I got wait, it. Can you win a football game? Yeah, now win a game, okay? Okay, okay. Do you believe it? No, I can't. I really hate it. He was so excited. He was just, no, he was just like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go play football. Sean, who was on the court, who I showed you guys, and asked his mom if, if she was excited. He has autism. He goes to Paxson here, um, and, and she watches the channel. And he's a ninth grader, yeah. and she was like, we thought Paxson would be the best place for him, and he's doing amazing He here. is, yeah. And the kids are loving him. Yes. How sweet is that? It's a good school. It really is. And they elected Isaiah, my son, as king of the homecoming court, so it's an even better school because of that. Way to go, Eagle! Yeah. It's a good game, dude. It was a good game. It was a tough game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because number 64 got mad because I knocked him on the behind. Awesome. Got it. I found the floor mat. They had it in the trunk. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. I love you. Love you. Have a great weekend. You Take too. Have fun. The kids. They'll be fine. They'll survive. Yep. They will. Once again, Abby's got every single light on out here. This kid. I swear. Hi! <laughs> Did you have fun with Becca? Did you have a good time? Did you? We're not gonna go to sweet girl. We're gonna go to bed soon. It's 10 o'clock. Who's laughing at me? Hey, can I see your arm? You okay? Do you have a little bit of a hard time? Becca said she helped you though. No. You ready for bed? No? Okay, we can stay up a little bit. It's a weekend. Tomorrow we're gonna cook an awesome breakfast. Does that sound good? All the good things? Maybe some hey, maybe some French toast for breakfast? Yes. We love French toast around y'all. Mom's not here, so we gotta have a party. Okay, that's what you do. Your brother went out to dinner with his friends. Isaiah goes out and gets uh you know, they'll go to like IHOP or whatever, Waffle House, place like that after after a game. I love that he gets to do that stuff that, you know, he's really getting that like full high school experience. It's like a movie. The kid lives like a movie life, for sure. <laughs> I have to get to work because I know you're gonna be up early and I can't be up late because I gotta get up early with you. You say bye to everybody? Bye. Okay guys, tomorrow, it's me and the kids, party time. See you then, bye. You look like the happiest mama ever. I am, I'm so <laughs> proud of him. Getting a picture with his girlfriend with his homecoming crown. Oh my, it's y'all. It's so American right now. Y'all don't even uh, like. All he needs now is to jump on an American eagle and ride it out of this out of the football out of the football field. So American.